I was born in Gallup, New Mexico. Uh, moved, you know, relatively soon. I was a very young baby when we moved. My parents moved to El Paso, and we lived there for about six years. We moved from there to Roswell, lived there for a year. Uh, I was in the second grade there. Uh, and then third grade through graduation from high school, I lived in Carlsbad, New Mexico. And my dad is Glenn, and my mother's Eleanor. Um, and my dad uh, was an instrument technician and worked for El Paso Natural Gas his whole career. My mother was a school teacher and uh, taught everywhere, you know, that we lived, different schools, generally uh, either first grade or kindergarten. But I think she probably instilled in me the idea that, you know, learning to read and being a good student at an early age is really important. One of the reasons that we are so interested in helping kids um, is just that. My brother Lauren uh, graduated from New Mexico State with a master's in tax and he is now an attorney. And my sister Donna graduated with her nursing degree from New Mexico State. She is now has her doctorate of nursing and is uh, vice president of nursing at Baylor here in Dallas. I was born and raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My mom Helen and my dad George uh, my dad was a school teacher, and my mother um, actually stayed home with us until we were in junior high school, and then she went to work for the government for Social Security. I'm in the middle of two brothers. My older brother, Mike, uh, graduated from Mexico State with an electrical engineering degree, and um, Mark is uh, my younger brother, and he graduated with, um, I believe, a management degree. It was a business degree. I think some of the most uh, formative things that happened when I was growing up, I was, I was fairly active in scouting, um, had some uh, male mentors as a scout, I'm an Eagle Scout, uh, probably because of them, had good friends whose parents were, had their own businesses and were accountants um, and recognized that that was a great career where you could, you know, have you have to work hard, but have a lot of freedom and, and uh, own your own business if that's what you want to do. So I think some of those things, some teachers that I had were very instrumental in the way that I think about a lot of different things. There was a branch of New Mexico State in Carlsbad, so we could get hours before we went, and I did that. Uh, my sister was going at the time to the uh, school in Carlsbad to get her nursing degree, so I think it was just a natural for the family, and then my brother followed a couple years after I started. So we all ended up um, going to state. Well, my dad gave us opportunity to go to any school in New Mexico. <laughs> so my older brother went to New Mexico State, and so I just followed along. Dr. Savage, Dr. Dillaway both had significant influence on the part of accounting that I chose as a career. I became an auditor, went to work in public accounting. They had a lot of influence um, I think on a lot of students uh, about how to start your career, whether you start in industry or, or in public accounting. Starting in public accounting for me probably made all the difference in the world. Um, gave me tremendous confidence that I could do uh, that, you know, do that job, compete with others who went to different schools. Gave me lots of opportunity to travel and, and uh, intermingle with people that were not from New Mexico and were not like me. But I think those two professors specifically, Dr. Bullock as well, influenced me to go the way that I went. All had practiced accounting. Um, I'm not sure that's true today with a lot of professors, particularly at the larger institutions. They could talk about their practical experiences having worked um, for accounting firms, and I think that it just brought it all more real. When I was young, I wanted to be a spy, <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted to decide to go to the FBI. And one thing the FBI is they, um, they did white collar crime, and so they were looking for accountants. And that was why I went into accounting. And um, one of the professors I enjoyed the most was um, Professor Kramer. He was, I think, a retired CPA. He drove in from El Paso. I was in Pi Beta Phi fraternity sorority, and um, that's where I have very fond memories, very good friends. The things that I remember the most are being in a hurry, and I kind of wish that I hadn't been in such a hurry. Um, you know, both of our kids um, have gone to college and are graduated, and they weren't in a hurry, and they had a much better time, it seems, than I did going to college. 
in those days at, at New Mexico State, it, on spring break, there was a travel firm, and I, don't, I can't remember the name of the travel firm, but they, you could go to um, uh, Mexico for $180. And we met, we met through a friend that we had in common. We drove with a group of people to Nogales and then went down to Mazatlan. We just met and I was taken with her immediately. But we spent the week down in, in Mazatlan having fun with a bunch of friends. And Literally from the day I met him, he's been carrying my suitcase. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and it's getting heavier. <laughs> I was graduating in two, two months. And, he had two and years I had ago. two years left, yeah. So I, we dated in my last two years of college, and she was working I was in El Paso. Paso. I got a job uh, in a public accounting firm in El Paso, Pete Mark Mitchell, which I don't, I don't even know what it's, it's called. KPMG now. Okay, okay. And um, I worked there for a little while, and I worked for Coopers and Lyman for a little while. And public accounting was not my cup of tea. <laughs> so um, I ended up going to work at El Paso Electric Company, the subsidiary, Franklin Land and Resources. That was a perfect job for me and, until we moved to Seattle. In Seattle, I worked there four years. We were there four years. I worked for Bank, for of, America. Bank of America. It was Sea First Bank, Bank of America. And um, when we moved to Houston after Seattle, I retired <laughs> and became a community volunteer. I went to work for Coopers and Librand in El Paso. Coopers and Librand now is PricewaterhouseCoopers, um, and I, my, I had a big client in El Paso. Uh, did worked on that client for four and a half years. The firm promoted me. Uh, that company's parent was in Seattle, Washington, so they moved me to Seattle as a manager uh, with Coopers and Librand still uh, to be on the parent company's account, Burlington Northern Railroad. We lived there for about four and a half years, and my client uh, hired me and moved us to Houston. I uh, went to Houston as vice president of audit for Burlington Resources, uh, which was the oil and gas piece of the business that, that the railroad had owned at one time. Was at Burlington for about eight years, left there uh, and went to work for a private energy service company. Did mostly work in the Gulf of Mexico, but also, also some international work there, privately held. Did that for about four years and then got an opportunity to become a public company CFO and went to work for a public oil and gas company in Fort Worth, Texas. Was there for seven years. Uh, left there and was the CFO for a company in Tulsa, Samson Resources, that was one of the largest LBOs ever done by private equity. Um, worked really, KKR hired me, which is a private equity firm in New York. Uh, we did that for four years, and now I'm in Dallas working for Primex Energy Partners, which is a Blackstone-backed uh, oil and gas. Uh, I'll call it a startup because it's or it's kind of a startup. The education at New Mexico State prepares you to do anything you want to do. It's a lot about you. You have to work hard. You have to gain confidence somehow. But in my career, I've worked with people that have graduated from Harvard. Stanford, all the great schools, um, as well as, you know, uh, Montana Tech. Um, and what I find is that while there are people that are smarter than other people, um, a lot of, and, and obviously people that have pedigree educations and others that don't, none of that really matters. And what really matters, and intelligence matters, but hard work matters the most. We've chosen to primarily give to kids, kids that are underprivileged, um, kids at New Mexico State who don't have the wherewithal to uh, maybe get that first semester in that they need to to qualify for uh, the lottery um, scholarship, but they meet the other criteria. Kids in the community that have been abused um, in one way or another, Sandy and I both have spent a lot of time volunteering and giving our money toward uh, those kinds of programs. In Houston, I did a lot with the kids' school, um, chaired a lot of the school auctions, did several things there, was involved with the junior league there. Then we moved to Fort Worth and I chaired the Opera Ball, served two years, Alliance for Children, luncheon two years, did a lot of um, Meals on Wheels. A lot of my daughters played softball. It was probably the team mom every, every year. Room mom, tons of room moms. And then when we moved to Tulsa, I got involved with Reading Partners.
We got married in 1984, which about six months after I graduated. Two kids, uh, both girls, ages 27 and 24, tremendously successful in our view, and we're terribly proud of them. They both have graduated from college. They both live in San Francisco together. Our oldest daughter, Laurel, started her own jewelry design and manufacturing business. Uh, she works for Barney's full-time while doing that on the side. Our youngest daughter, Alex, went to Savannah College of Art and Design, and we didn't know she was an artist, but she is extremely creative. Uh, she's a copywriter, a uh, very good copywriter, and is currently working for Yelp in San Francisco. You can do anything. I'm, I'm you. Uh, I look, when I was your age, I looked just like you. And um, if you put your, this education will be a, a tremendous foundation for you. It's good enough. Um, it's, it will provide you with the tools that you need to be successful. It depends on you. You have to work hard. You have to be focused. You have to make sure that you're doing something that you love because you'll be much better at it. What I tell my daughters is um, to be honest and to give a little more than they ask of you.